The inland northwest is in the middle of its worst drought in decades. The effect it's having may not be easy to see at first glance. 4 News Now meteorologist Matt Gray shows us what the drought is doing to our area and how long it might take for it to come to an end. Here on the Palouse, the land reflects the seasons. The green of spring giving way to the amber of summer and then to the many shades of brown in early autumn. It's harder to see from this bird's eye view, but from the seat of a tractor, you begin to notice the drought that's gripping this land. Really, it's been back in the 70s since we've had severe drought like this. In these fields near the town of St. John, Gary Bailey and his brother Mark are planting their crop of winter wheat. Like so many others, they went from a record-setting crop in 2020 to record disappointment this year. Historically low production reported in every county for every crop. The only thing that can fix it is more rain, soon. Since the year 2000, when the U.S. Drought Monitor was created, there has never been exceptional drought. That's the highest on the scale in the in the Northwest until this year. The reason why? Well, it starts with spring rainfall. It's been since 1924. That is 97 years in the Spokane area since we've seen as little amounts of rain that we saw during the springtime season. Well, less than an inch. Then summer came after that. We know what happened this summer. We had the hottest period of weather in the entire history of this region in late June, including Spokane's hottest temperature ever at 109 degrees. Well, July wasn't that much better because we ended up with the hottest month overall by average temperature on record in July. So it didn't cool down at all. And look what that did to the drought. On June 1st, lots of moderate and some pockets of severe drought. Then almost everybody in extremely severe or exceptional drought, that highest on the scale by the end of July. To top it all off, not a lot of rain this summer either. Spokane rain between March and August was the lowest in 140 years of records. Everywhere you look, you see the effects. Wildfire season in the Northwest burned over twice as many acres as 2020 as the land turned into a tinderbox. This summer, you may have had to change your plans on the water because of low water and close shorelines. Low water leads to the growth of toxic algae, and algae close parts of the shoreline of nine North Idaho lakes. While in Washington, more algae blooms killed dogs that swam in the Columbia and Little Spokane rivers. But where the drought is hitting hardest is farming. And now the lack of rain threatens to carry over into next year's crop. If I could order the rain, I would order a nice rain around Labor Day for this area. And that would ensure that we get our fall crop up uh, nice going into winter. And then uh, we want average rainfall through the winter and then another nice healthy dose in the spring to carry it through. Luckily, there was some decent rain in September. It's just enough for the Baileys and many other farmers in the region to plant seeds now and hope that more rain is on the way this fall and hope to avoid another bad year. Financially, it's going to be tough on people. Uh, we're fortunate that we have crop insurance programs that help make up part of that deficit, but it doesn't pick it all up. Forecasts for the wheat crop next year are down too, and there's a good reason why. According to the latest forecast from NOAA, it would take a year's worth of rainfall in the next eight months to end the drought. The odds of that happening, 5 to 10 percent. That doesn't mean that there can't be a lot of improvement between now and then, but the odds are that we'll continue to see the effect of this drought well into next year. And climate change is playing a role here as well. Over the past 30 years, we are seeing less rain on average during the summer months. They're usually pretty dry, but what it means is that a large portion of farmers in the inland northwest are becoming even more dependent on rain in the spring and the fall than in the past. So like this year, if you have one bad season, all of a sudden you're in trouble when summer comes around. Oh yeah, Matt, who is like most likely to see the drought improve this winter? All right, so if we go by the percentages that you saw there in the story, it's going to be Idaho that we're going to see the improvement first, especially high up in the mountains. We saw already over the past month with all the rain, we've seen a lot right. of improvement in the Idaho pan handle. So from Idaho and then slowly tracking to the west, we're going to see that improvement as we continue to see more rain and hopefully a lot of it. Slow though. Yeah, unfortunately. Right.